Where the heck old deco am I? I... I am just... Lost. Every moment of my life. Not excluding this one. How did I... Uh, did I go up the floor or something? No, the stairs, are, the stairs are over here that I took. Okay. That explains the heckle deckle. But still, oh god, this place is a maze. But it's exactly telling me this way, so I guess I should probably just listen. Ah, oh, I should just listen to all the puppets, but they're just not that interesting. Lacking its own ingenuity, the parasite fears the visionary. Bored. No longer interested. Andrew Ryan's an insane man. No one cares. Shush. Rapture was founded on the idea that everyone deserves what they make. And blah blah blah. Hard work makes a hard man. Blue blue. I'm Andrew Ryan. Rapture. The government is evil. The parasite. Blah. private life. Using their great talents to provide for you. They learn to twist the lies of church and government, believing themselves masters of the system. But the parasite said, No! The child has a duty. He will go to war and die for the nation. Ah! I mean, the child is gonna die when the robot barges in, decapitates it. That's what. That's the story that needs to be- Like, no, he doesn't need- Little Billy just lost his legs. Because you decided to, to tell the wrong story. What? There's just several spare giant hands. Like, Little Billy was not prepared for this. Little Billy was not prepared for giant robots only coming in and ruining everything. And I think, as a man who lives underwater with a really unnaturally large quantity of giant hands, you would be ready for this, but no. You were like, the government is evil, not the giant evil robots. You literally have an entire room full of heads. Just heads. And another room that's entirely filled with arms. You even have one of the faces creepily staring at the doorway for everyone to see when they enter the room. But no, I'm Andrew Ryan and my vision is that I'm a jerk and blah 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 blah. Lil sis. It's close. I can't do that right now because there's a safe and god there could be so many cool stuffs in there. Watch one of these faces speak camera. It's probably you, isn't it? Yeah, and this one. I can tell what's gonna happen. Camera's gonna pop up, ruin my day. I'm not ready for such a situation. But I'm expecting it. All these TVs will stop working the moment they move slightly. Yeah. Terrible. I'm just angry right now. Very angry. Ah! Man. That was... In the previous game, it took li just about the entire game for me to fail one of these puzzles. Now I'm not even, like, close. Get a, get a additional cash from a safe when hacking it. That's another one of those questionable hacking things that I don't really understand, where it's like... Hack the safe and somehow more money's in it. Unless maybe uh, that it's like unmarked bills with like the ink bombs inside them that explode when they're not hacked properly. Eh. And now I hacked them really good and now I can pick up those two without the ink bombs going off and I can use them. Because these machines are really sophisticated and can tell when there's ink on the money. I really don't want these robots here. You make me feel uncomfortable, and I feel like one of you is going to come to life any second now. And I'll be like, ah, I'm startled by what is currently going on. And I don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to decapitate all of them. Just in case. I don't need hints. I'm in a room full of the dead. Really? I'm going to guess. But this is where I'm going to end up later. As I uh, bring back the little sister. After doing the thing. My robot just got drunk. I am a big daddy and I just got drunk off of two beers. This is the life I've, I've, I'm leading. This is, what ha this is what happened to me. This is who I have become. I have become a robot who gets drunk. Where does technology end? That even alcohol affects the robots. Is that even really 
something you need to program into your robotics? Is that something that, that you feel like, yeah, robots need this? Adam, Daddy, over there. I know. I just get lost a lot, yo. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm just a weird alcoholic robot that doesn't know what to do anymore. I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm just gonna follow the path. All these things seem to just lead to the same dead ends. Wait, what? This way. But that's where I came from. Is that... What? No, I, I refuse that that is the answer to this particular conundrum. We're going back in this way. I refuse to suddenly be like, oh no, actually the Adam Phil corpse, yeah, they did gone. And now we need to go back again. No. We're going this way. We're going to that power of the people machine that's right there. We're gonna grab our electric hands. Where are they? There we go. We're gonna electrify this place up good. Let's dance with them, Daddy. Not now. This entire place will kill all of us. That would be bad. As you might expect. We're gonna check the power of the people. I'm just gonna listen to all these when I'm like back at the train or something. I feel like that's probably a good time to do that. Because then I won't have to worry about all this nonsense that's going on in my, in my life right now. Hello, lady. Sir. Ma'am. Thing. I don't know what you are. Um... We ignite creatures on repeated shots. That sounds freaking amazing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that one. One day, I'll upgrade my drill. But right now, this rific gun is gonna be the bee's knees. And people will be like, Man, that rivet gun is the bee's knees. I wasn't prepared for so many bees. Stop talking to me. I'm talking about bees. And I don't have time for your shenanigans around here. There's beer to be found. I'm the alcoholic robot. Ready to find the alcohol. Bump. Flop. And kafloop. And maybe even kadoodle. Was that a blue bonus? Maybe. It's gonna tell me that blue bonuses exist every time. It's not actually really gonna explain if I got them or not. But, you know. Thanks. Little smoke machine. You still want me to go back. You still want me to go back. I, I'm sorry, I can't trust you, little, little girl. I cannot trust you in this regard. Because we walked all the way here. At some point, there was a smoky smoke. Telling me to go in this direction, I feel. There's a camera. And I'm gonna have... Hey! Careful now. Are you wearing a helmet? Well, your helmet wasn't very good in any case. Uh, boop, bleep. I could have gotten two blue bonuses there. That would have been so rad. But I'm still kind of scared that if I don't hack that quickly enough, it's actually just going to see me anyway, because it's like, hey, there's a bolt in my face. That's weird. Where did that come from? And I'm being hacked right now. Hmm. And, you know, I feel pretty uncomfortable. Rapture failed. We will not respect the tyranny of self. I will lead the way. The end of Ryan is the end of myself. A lot of recycled words. There are pants here. Robot pants. Does this thing work? Unable to provide for itself. Man, the robot pants aren't even moving anymore. These are the worst robot pants I've ever seen in my life. Is this where I came from? No, it's the other side, I guess. I'll listen to that later. And... Uh, we went on a long... Long road. We are not maintenance employees. Or are we? All axes go. It was all a good idea. Oh, look where the smoke's telling me where to go. Look where the smoke's being like, hey, maybe this was the right place to go after all. Yeah, maybe it was. Maybe it was, smoke monster. Why did you never consider my feelings? I don't know. Nope. Not gonna hold it. Following the smoke. 
Don't care about your opinion. Following the smoke. Not gonna wait for you. Just following the smoke. Because apparently I don't know how to explore anymore. Apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Is it just here? Did I just miss it? Huh. Because I feel like I've been in this room before. Did I just not... Yeah, there's even the turret there. I'm not a smart person. Alright. There you go. Go put that thing in the thing. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. Actually, you're only sacrificing one of your children for me. And given that I'm the protagonist, I think complying would be good. So just listen to me and this will be over soon. Can you please die? Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna blow that up. I feel like I'm using heavy rivets again. Please don't. Don't start with me, Sonny. Oh boy. You caused me great pain and misery. And it's a mess. You're. Messes have been made too many people at once getting shot by the by people in the face. This is not a good place to be. I miss having bees coming out of my hands. And I don't know how to live my life anymore. There's people on the left of me, and there's gonna be someone shooting me in a second. Look! How many people? Where did all these people come from? Question mark. Exclamation point. Are we done here? So much death. Are we gonna be together again, Daddy? Do you know how many people died? All right, Chief. We've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. Yeah, sure. I'll just do the thing. Get her to the sister vent. Presumably it's gonna be the one that I saw previously. At least now all the doors are open. And I know there's a couple of doors that I couldn't open previously. So with some luck, I should be able to open those now. I was greedy. And I didn't wait. But I wanted it so badly. And that's where I failed. That's where I failed as a big dadu. Failed as a parent. To show the right example to the little sister. Who is also my daughter in this respect, I guess. I don't even know what I'm saying. You, you really creep me out. I feel like I got rid of your head before. I guess it was that one. I only got rid of the, the scientist head who like stood above everyone else. Didn't actually get rid of all the other scientists because they were just sort of hanging out. They seemed alright. They didn't really seem to be causing any issues. But, you know, you can never be too safe. Never be too safe in this regard. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or her. Hers. You can be nice or not so nice. E to rescue, F to harvest. These buttons make more sense. Rescue. There you go, girl. You're human again now. I think. Yes. Well, our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability. But you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. I like how it's like you have barely enough and I only need 90. Like, come on. Don't be such a greedy butt. Be the butt that the world wants you to be. The nicest of the bottoms. And that is, that is my advice to you. I still don't trust these stupid... See? Robots came to life. Sort of. At least, actually, shoot the people, but still. You know, dying wouldn't be so bad right now. I'm gonna gun butt you to death. You have ruined my day with your stupid pipe, and I don't want to deal with it anymore. That was the slowest way I could possibly kill you, and that's the decision I took that day. Because you ruined it. 
you ruined a perfectly good day. And now you're throwing grenades like... Uh, everyone's just being a bad friend. Anyone who's ever been a friend, this is the example you want to take if you don't want to be that person's friend no more. Shooting people? Pretty good way to stop them being friends with you. Why there's so many people today? It's a very crowded area, one might argue. Give me them first aids. Are these hacking things the same every time for this machine? Because this is the same... Like, they're in the same areas as the previous hell station. I'll just heal up as well. And... Uh, give me that free first aid kit. There you go. And... Now what? Are there any specific rooms? I want to. I kind of want to visit the room that's like right behind me right now. Because that might be one of the things that was closed previously. Or it might just be on a different floor. I still have a kind of a hard time telling which is which. Oh, it's the hand room! Brilliant! Yeah. That's where I wanted to go. I wanted to go on a great hand adventure. So I'm glad that I decided to go back here for the, the hands. Hello, lady. Uh, you're a corpse. You kind of... You kind of look familiar. You kind of... You kind of look familiar to me. I'll listen to... I'll listen to that later. She kind of looked like... Uh, What's-her-face from What's-her-thing. You know? You know what I mean. I'm sure you do. We're just gonna switch and grab... That right there. Anti personnel runs. And uh, we're just gonna leave her here. I'm actually just gonna put this right there. That seems better. Alright. Uh, is there anything else up in this hand room? Like, this seems like the kind of place where you'd have more than just an audiobook, but. What do I know? What do I know? Right. God, this map is a nightmare to look at at any point in time. A couple of nights ago. You are ruining that fridge, sir. Stop it. I will not let you ruin the refrigerators of our time. There were even potato chips in there. Who would put potato chips in a refrigerator? Uh, Rapture, what have you become? I just don't understand sometimes what these people were trying to do. Because when you start putting things and things that they don't belong in. Like putting potato chips in a refrigerator. I question you. I question everything about you. Cause that's just not on. You can't just put potato chips in a refrigerator. That's weird. What would that even, what, what purpose would that serve? It would just make them soggy. You don't want soggy chips. You don't want soggy chips. How dare you?